Hey everyone, Nigel here from Nigelchart.com. Um, before I start sharing, I want to sh just let you know that I'm actually really, really happy today because I, you can't see it, but behind me, there's actually my green screen. I just could do it. So I should show you quickly. No, it doesn't work that way. Mm. Is it like this? Yeah, that's right. See, I got a green screen behind me. So that's why I'm really happy. And because I have a green screen behind me, when I move my hands and you get, do have my ears, it clear, it's, everything is really, really very clear. So when I, in the past when I don't have any green screen, there'd be just weird green aber aberrations on my hands, in my glasses, at my shadows, and you can't even see my ears properly. With the green screen, it's just much clearer, and I, I'm, I'm really happy with that. Just, just, thought, just thought I'd share with you. So, today I want to share with you this, this idea that's been in my mind, that it says, that's basically, ah, my camera. Come on, camera, zoom in back on me. That's right. It's get up and do something meaningful. meaningful. Just get up, start doing something meaningful. Um, I'm going to go straight to the point. I'm not very good, you know, filling the gaps. I'm going to be just straight. Life is really short enough, you know. Um, we cannot waste it on shit, people, or things that don't matter as much to us. Um, life is short. However, God made such that even though it's short, it's long enough if we live it well. So a well-lived life, it's that then life will be good and long enough if you don't waste time. So my point here is that you got to find your few important things in your life that truly means the whole world to you. And what means what's important to you may not be important to another person. So yes, you can take stock of what other people are interested in, but don't take too much time doing that. You know? you got to find out what's important to you. This, a lot of this boils down to self-awareness, self-esteem, and courage, right? Um, look at left and right. To, have to take stock what other people are doing, what you may be interested in. Um, to speak to others. You can, speak to your, you can speak to people, speak to your parents. You can speak to people that's close to you. You can speak to a counsellor or a business counsellor or a job counsellor. Um, I find that most of the time, I get clearer and clearer. I have more clarity as I evaluate, but also as I do. That means that I can't sit down and think my way to a perfect idea. Oftentimes, I think of an idea, I perfect it by thinking as much as I can from different angles. Maybe I spend 20% of efforts there. But 80% of the time, I'm going to go on the ground. You know, I'm going to launch it. I'm going to go on the ground. I'm going to sell it. I'm going to uh, communicate it. I'm going to build it. And as I build it, I'll get data. I'll get feedback. People will tell me, hey, this is a stupid idea. Or this is a wonderful idea. This is how you can make it better. And I take all this data over a, compact, over a period of time. And I refine my approach. I refine my product. I refine my service over and over again until it becomes from like, you know, very fuzzy, very frayed, very um, minimum viable product MVP to something that becomes better and better and better with time. And that's how I evaluate and make decisions. So today, I want you to consider, you know, don't be distracted. Don't get stuck in a job that you don't like, you know, working with people that you freaking hate, you know. Don't tolerate shit that you cannot agree with from a philosophical or fundamental standpoint, okay. I get it that we cannot just quit our job, you know, and just um, kill off our salary, especially if you have a single salary, you know, especially if you have dependents, you have a spouse, you have children or you have pets. You can't just quit, okay? Um, stay to your job, but start a side hustle. Start a start business, right? Um, I recommend people start an online business because it's it's much more affordable to get into. Um, and you can do something on the you can do it on the side after office hours. Your job is to work from nine to five, nine to six on weekdays, weekdays after office hours and weekends. You hustle, hustle things that meaningful for you. What's that hustle? I mean. It, What's that to hustle? There's so many things you can hustle. That's a totally different, um, totally different video. But some people can have a blog around about peanut butter. Some people can have YouTube videos around cooking. Some people can have um, podcasts about 
Magic the Gathering. I, I just had a patient um, a year ago and his life is over, uh, around and about Magic the Gathering. The world is so big. Don't waste time. Open your eyes. Get up. Go do something meaningful. Something meaningful is something that for you to discover. You won't get like a voice like, my God, you shall do this. No. It's as you do. You realize, oh, shit, I don't like doing this. Oh, shit, I don't like doing that. Until you find that, hmm, this is not bad. Okay. Let's do a little bit more of this. And let's do a little bit more of this. Let's do a little bit more of this. There is a process to discover meaning. You know, you can't be comfort. You can't be taught through. You can think it, but you got to do it. So because of, I mean, what, what happens sometimes people think one thing and they think, oh, that's ideal. But when they do it, it's like, oh, actually, they don't really like it. So that's like, so for example, um, some people may, may like, they say they may say they like uh, cooking. But when they do cooking, they're like, hmm. You know, it's like uh, there's, this, there's this joke that I heard, you know, there's this guy that, oh, I want to have my own uh, restaurant. I'm going to be, uh, I'm going to own the restaurant and I'm going to be a successful re restauranteur. And for years and years, he would say that. And then when he finally, then, then, and then instead of um, doing that, what, he, what his mentor did, his mentor told him, hey, 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 hello. Instead of saying that you want to own a restaurant and just jump so many processes and so many steps to immediately opening a restaurant, why not you go and work in a restaurant first? You know, work as a waiter first, work as a chef, cook, work as a, um, uh, the, what's the, what's the person? The, the greeter, every part of the restaurant, F&B business, right? Try it first. And six months, 12 months after that, what, what did this guy say? This guy said, oh my God, thank you for telling me that to try it out first. Thank you for telling me that and warning me that. Because after trying for six months, 12 months, I realized I don't want to own a restaurant. I just want to be a cook. I want to be a chef. Because it's fucking hard to deal with everything. You know, people don't want to come to work. People fall sick, paying the bills, paying the rent, selling and things like that. But if I'm a chef, I cook, I just come in, I work, I go home, and it's done. See, we can theorize all we want, but we can't theorize ourselves to a solution. The solution becomes clear and clearer as we do. So get up and do something meaningful. Life is short. Don't waste time on sitting down there, toileting that boss, toileting that politics. Don't waste time. Life is short, but long enough if you use it well. A well-lived life will be a good, long life. You know, and remember everybody's meaning and purpose is different. Don't be distracted by, you know, that some people like some sexy stuff, you know, like blockchain or cryptocurrency or trading or different stuff. And, and if your stuff, what, what rocks your boat is Magic the Gathering, which is big by itself, do that on the side. If what rocks your boat is um, pickles, fuck, pickles is a freaking big thing though, but it's not popular yet, at least. Do it or dehydrating foods or just selling one particular type of controller, you know? It's your job, it's your adventure to find out what makes you tick. No one else can tell you that. Okay? So today, get up, do something meaningful. Share with me what you think, share with me what your struggles are. I'll be more than happy to talk through with you some. But in the end, remember, you got to take action on it and do it on the side, okay? Take care, guys and girls. Stay safe. Wear your mask. Safe distancing, everything. I'm just a text away or a comment away. So I'm looking forward to hearing from you. If you'd like me to share certain things, let me know, okay? See you. Bye.